Admiral's Log, June 19th, 1922. The next generation of battleship is currently being built. These ships are such a massive leap from our current generation of battleships. With 16.9 inch long barrel guns and a secondary armament of both 8.9 and 4.9 long guns, their firepower is monstrous. As is their displacement at 67,050 tons. The superstructure of these ships has been completely overhauled. These two are completely different from our current designs. The enemy will be in utter awe when they first lay eyes on these ships. The shipyards constructing these ships are being extremely well guarded. The intelligence service has vetted every single worker tasked with building these new ships. We will not have any spies in former enemies about these new ships. I want them to come as a total surprise to whoever we happen to be fighting by the time that they finish construction. As for the war, the Italians continue to dominate the Med. I'm letting them. I have no quarrel with them. Yet. Perhaps after we've defeated the French, we can look into starting a conflict with the Italians. We already control Malta. After defeating the French, we might get Corsica. I'd also very much like control of Sicily and Sardinia. And if the Italians aren't willing to part with that territory, then we'll just have to take it. Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the Big Guns Campaign, Episode 8. As I was thinking about the campaign off screen, I thought, you know what? I have Gibraltar. If I can park just a few big ships in Gibraltar, monitors essentially, I can very easily have them just block off anything that comes in or out of the Western Mediterranean. Right now I'm at war with France. I'm not at war with the Brits. The Brits definitely have some interests over here. Or at least they used to. They still have Cyprus, Limassol, but that's the only port that they still have. In the well, in the event that I'm going to be at war with the Austro-Hungarians and or the Italians, I might find that I do not want them to leave the Mediterranean. So we're gonna need a monitor. Let's see what sort of weird design I can build for that. It's going to be a ship with minimum range. It does not need to go very far. Let's just call it the monitor. Range, none. Um, I just want it to be a really fat ship. I don't mind if it's coal fired because I'm not going anywhere anyway. Uh, minimum size, please. I could even go with the modern battleship probably, but hey, I got this hull, whatever. Uh, speed, 25 knots ought to be sufficient. Let's do get them some better engines and some repairs. Electrohydraulics, reinforced bulkheads. I mean, I gotta make sure this thing is fairly tanky. Because it's gonna be out there quite often absorbing shells. Or, well, ideally not absorbing shells, but, uh, you know, it might take the occasional hit. The problem is, Germany doesn't really have good. Well, it doesn't really have a good hull or a good tower. Oh, sorry, the, the hull is fine. It doesn't really have good towers for this. Uh, is the Dreadnought an option? The Dreadnought hull. No, it's even worse. Delete that. So that would mean this ship. Uber funnel. Of course, we're going to go with the biggest guns. Goes without saying. Something like this. Although the plumbers were 113 million. I'm already looking at 114 million. Reduce the beam. 100 million. What if I go for the smallest possible boat? 77 million. Easy. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. Engine efficiency is quite shit. Let's go with the balance boiler. 77 million. Of course, we still got to upgrade this. Go with barbettes, gotta go with semi-autos, gotta go with electro-hydraulic turrets, gotta go with a rangefinder. Uh, yes, this is quite useful. Gotta go with better shells as well. TNTs, tube, standard, base fuse, 
standard ratio. Oh, 88 mail in, 89. Build speed, 26 months. No. No, sadly, I'm afraid this is not going to work. I thought, nice, I can just crank out a few battleships fairly quickly. No joy. Are other ships faster to build? A large armored cruiser is what the game considers a heavy cruiser. It's the heavy cruiser that we have. Build time, 12 months. If I would try with this ship, like no range. I can only put 11.9 inch guns on there. Make it small. That didn't look small to me, but okay. Um, speed 25. Make it sleek. Make it small. Build time 11 months. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we're going to upgrade some stuff. Uh, Anti-flash barbat, anti-torp 2, triple standard. Here, here. Just the usual, really. Coincidence, semi-autos, electro-hydraulics. I believe that the previous class that looked like, or that had this type of hull, also had semi-armor piercing, which at short range works, at longer range it does not against the battleship, because that's why I'm thinking I might intercept the battleship. This will do damage against the battleship. Plenty of damage against the battleship. And now we just need a funnel. Like one gross funnel. Engine efficiency is grossly terrible. This should boost it. This should fix it. Turbines. 16 months? Crap. At least they're cheap. 16 million. Standard crew quarters, please. What is the other class price? 28. Huh. I bet I can crank these out pretty quick. Give me two 5.9ers, like here and here. So, upgrade this. More length. Upgrade this. More length. Oh, though they don't like that. No, it's not more length. It's just more... It's more gun. What if I put them here? Yes, yes, go away. Here. Easy. Build speed, 16 months. Bit heavy on the bow. Not that much I can do about that. Pitch and roll seem fine. I have about 1700 tons left to get this ship some better shells. And make sure that she fires super heavy, cordite, standard ratio, and base fuse. Because this will also very quickly blow away any smaller ships that are not too heavily armored. Give me some acoustics. 1,700 tons. Not bad. For armor, I mean. Auxiliary engine. Better shaft. Better steering, so we can dodge torpedoes. Turning circle, 275. <laughs> and that's at top speed. Great. Let's do it. Okay, give me two inches of superstructure. We've got a pretty small citadel again. It's not as small as the Turinja, but it's, it's good enough. 10, 4... Four, five, three, and three. I would like to get some better armor on those secondaries, so let's make that six. Six here as well. Give me 20 inches of armor on the turrets with five inches top, five inches top. Poor fields of fire. What if I put these here? Hold on, can I fit a barbette? No, but not that tall. I was thinking the secondary barbette, but I'm afraid it's not quite going to work. Um, I push this back. I'm also making the citadel larger than I would really want it to be. But I could potentially house a couple more guns here. Like here-ish. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm colorblind, so figuring out where... The turret will rotate properly and where it won't is more difficult for me than it might be for you. I'll have to go for some slightly smaller guns here. Or hold on, we got casemates. 
just 50 tons for a casemate turret. This thing weighs 141 turret, or 141, ah, uh, it's not that bad. Click, 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 click. It's just that these all fire forward, essentially. This is the only one firing back. I need another gun firing back. What if I go for a smaller 5-inch dual barrel? Eh. Other plan? Push this here. Put this here. Ship's overweight. Remove this. This, this, this. These things are almost falling off the ship. Can't have that. This here. So, what's the gun that supposedly has a poor field of fire? Because I'm not too sure. Let's see if we can push this back a little. There. Okay. Now, the ship's already pretty heavily armored. Citadel is okay. Build time is still 16 months. Price, 21 million. Making them still somewhat cheaper than the Tringia at 28.4. Pretty good ship. Pretty good ship. 300 tons. Conning tower armor is always a plus. Main belt's probably going to ramp up. Well, it's not even ramping up that quickly. Make it 14. 5, 5, too heavy. 13. Ah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so this is the Deutschland class. Save that design. And I would like to order a couple just to have them parked in Gibraltar. Just so we have that covered. So, build me uh, five Deutschlands. And we're going to go to Fleet. The Deutschlands. Deutschland, Michel, Admiral Hipper, Admiral Scheer, and Atlantis. You guys are all... Not going to sit where I want you to go, because you don't have a home port in the form of Gibraltar. Fine. Park your ass in Hamburg, and I'll see you guys in 16 months. Let's see if anything interesting is happening in the world, yeah? The French are down to 38 ships, 12 of which are battleships, 20 heavy cruisers, and some other stuff. The Austro-Hungarians have 85 ships. We have 39. Six battleships currently. I'm repairing a battleship, and I'm building 16 new ones. It's just that I'm not sure this is... Well, this war is going to last long enough. Yes, it will last long enough for these battleships to come off. But the Otto class... And um, the Pomeran class? Probably not. But let's see. For a while, there's not much happening. At least, not with my fleet. But now, I have a small encounter. I think the game is kind of overstating what's happening. Defense against an enemy task force. We are looking at one destroyer. The Fleuret, 9.6 million versus my 9 million. This ship is probably quite heavily armored. 3.3 inches of armor. Uh, mine, 5.2. And I have 5.9 inch guns. I just have five of them. They have two and then a couple of smaller guns and six tubes, but minimum bulkheads. So let's have a little destroyer battle. These things are always interesting because you never quite know which way they're going to go. I can tell you with fairly good certainty what's going to happen if one of my destroyers get into a fight with a battleship. Uh, I can fairly certainly tell you that if it's a one-on-one -on -one battleship battle, I tend to win it. With a destroyer? These things are so iffy, you never really quite know. Also, I'm not exactly sure how we got 125 complement on a 124 crew boat. Maybe we have a, an observer? From the Austro-Hungarians, like uh, liaison officer? I'm not sure. Sea state. Pretty decent, but it's evening. Okay. Let's start angling away from this guy. Identification should be going very quickly. 13%, 70%, yeah, this should be fast. The issue is, I haven't updated these destroyers yet. So they still have some fairly old turret rotation. Electrical 2. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Thank you. Not interested in your torpedo shit. All back emergency. I said emergency? You're not losing any speed there, uh, V10. You're just drifting. 
Whee! <laughs> oh, more torpedoes. How oh, nice. Must be nice to have so many torpedo tubes. I have one. Thing is, I only need one. Alright. We torpedo away. They probably spotted that. Yes, they have. And now they are going to take measures to avoid that. Chance to pen. 30%, 24% from the stern. So please fire a high explosive. Oof. Why are you so difficult to hit? High speed? Yeah. And maneuver. Minus 93%. Now, at this point, your guns, Fleuret, should all be pointing the other way. Yes, they are. Your torpedo tubes might be looking at me pretty quickly, but it's going to take them an awfully long time to reload. That's more like it. And it sucks if you don't have bulkheads. Minimum bulkheads. Yeah, I think we might escape here almost without damage of any kind. Boom, dead. So that was an interesting 10 minutes, is what the Fleuret said before she sank. Done. 1,200 victory points for killing one DD? That's a lot. Now, of course, I'm not the only one at war with the French, and that means that other parties are also picking the French ships apart. They're down to 33 ships now. And more importantly, they keep losing transports, because they simply don't have enough presence in the Western Mediterranean. They have some... They have a task force here, if you want to call it a task force, it means one battleship, which we might as well intercept, so we got heavy cruisers there. Uh, there's one heavy cruiser en route to the Western Mediterranean. Let's send out some ships of our own, shall we? Because they were repairing, but they're fixed now. How is the French economy doing? I wonder. Oh boy. Their economy is getting destroyed. They're down to an economy of 11 billion. Their economy is shrinking every month. Holy shit. There's going to be nothing left of the French. Naval prestige, minus 76. British, minus 53. Public opinion, content. That's interesting. Because I think people are dying in the streets out of starvation. Interestingly, they have a fairly healthy amount of victory points. 35,000. Versus 96,000 uh, between the Austro-Hungarians and myself. Of which, I have to note, the Austro-Hungarians did most of the heavy lifting. I did 20,000 victory points. The Austro-Hungarians did the other 70,000. And then there's the Italians, but I'm not sure how much fighting they're actually doing. Because I can see that they clash with the French. Two heavy cruisers, six lights, four DDs versus a battleship and heavy cruiser. I just don't see the outcome of said clash. It's just, you see the clash, the game calculates the victory, and then the ship's going to disappear. Anyway, let's just continue. A little while later, I take down a heavy cruiser, and interestingly, it was actually getting me less, less of a victory point score than the destroyer kill. I'm not sure why. Because this is more expensive, uh, it had more crew, it has more firepower, but 986 victory points versus about 1300 for a destroyer. So I suspect that victory points are also counted by the amount of ships that you take in order to destroy one heavy cruiser. Well, to destroy your target, at any rate. I really wonder how the French are ever going to recover from this war. Because this economy is just getting destroyed. They're going to need decades of very high growth to get back to where they once were. And even though I'm at war and my economy is also taking a hit, it's still growing. It's still growing by 6% a year. The British are also recovering. But the British used to have a lot more growth. They used to have a lot more naval funding. Uh, they too took a hit. And that's good for me. They do have a massive active fleet though. I'm concerned about that because my fleet isn't nearly that big. So if the British at some point decide that they want to play, I'm potentially going to have a problem. But that'll have to get dealt with after the French. Now, just as I mentioned that the British have a pretty large fleet, they too think that they have a pretty large fleet. And that is interesting for them to send us an ultimatum. Demanding financial compensation for our discovered acts of espionage. 
Like I need their puny technology to thrive my ships. Um, the government is interested in your opinion about this. I can agree to their demands because our fleet is not ready to fight them. Hell yes, it is. Um, and that's going to cost me 122 million. Cost, naval prestige, and cause unrest. I can say make a counter offer. I'm not negotiating with these British. Refuse. Their rhetoric is unacceptable. More naval prestige, less unrest. Our fishermen complain that they're getting harassed by the British. Okay. Send a naval squadron to protect our fishermen for 48 million. I can ignore it. Or I can raise a protest. I'm going to protest. I think sending a naval squadron is a bit more of a gesture. But okay. Now I believe that I am, for some reason, bleeding money. I'm certainly 105 million negative per month. But nothing changed. I didn't touch any of the sliders. It's not like I have any ships which are running crazily expensive. I haven't lost any transports, as opposed to the French, which just keep bleeding. Uh, they now have an economy of 7 billion, which is just, what, two or three months after I just showed you? Their fleet's only 28,000. Oh, sorry, 28 ships. Um, I don't have any more ships than I used to, I think. So I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with this whole fleet. I'm not sure exactly why I'm suddenly paying so much more, but it's probably going to get a lot worse once these battleships make their presence. So, what can I do? I can reduce my tech budget a little. It's going to be a lot. No, that's way too much. Uh, this is barely going to cut it. Let's just see what's going to happen in a month. I think this is a bit of a... F it's not a fluke. What is going on? Also, uh, the Austro-Hungarians have pulled out of the war. They are now at peace with the French. And for some reason, the Italians inherited their score. And I'm suddenly not at war with the French. But I didn't sign any peace treaty. What? Hold on. If we're no longer at war, and I'm still spending like I'm at war, then that makes sense. The negative monthly balance of 106 million. That makes sense. Because if you're not at war with anybody, then the whole game is going to go, yep, no, uh, you're not going to get that much money because you don't need it. You don't need more money for more ships. But this is weird because I didn't get a peace treaty. I think the Austro-Hungarian signed something. It's just that I was... <laughs> I was at war with the French before... The Austro-Hungarians were my ally. And even so, the Austro-Hungarians cannot dictate for me whether they sign a peace treaty or not. So I think this is a bit of a bug. I think this is not how the game is supposed to handle this. It does mean that with my monthly balance, I'm probably going to have to mothball ships because I'm not actually at war. Um, I'm going to have to pull my ships back from patrols because i got most of them currently at sea. And I'm going to have to just find a way to, well, spend a whole lot less than 100 million a month. One month later, and it looks like the British are about to fix my naval funding. Because the British Empire is threatening us that they will declare war on us if we do not show a sign of reducing the tensions against their country. Fine. If you want to have a battle, we shall have a battle. Give them all that they want. <laughs> no. We can give them the amount that they uh, that they can delay the inevitable. I want the inevitable. Our recent financial crisis in industry has decreased tax income. Oh, that's what's happening. The government wants to cut the Navy's budget. Hell no. The Navy's finances must be maintained. Our Navy belongs to the country and its people, so it's ready to give its share of the common good. 122 million. Um, or ask the ministers to cut their own appetite and salaries. Yes, this is much more in line with what my character would say. Interesting news, sir. The French Empire warns the head of Admiralty for his excessive naval expenditure. <laughs> I want... Yeah, here we go again. Uh, I wonder how the French are even able to afford a navy at all. Yeah. Anyway... Um, the British just fixed my naval funding for me because my monthly balance is once again in the plus. So, you want to play, huh? Okay. 
You picked a perfect time because in two months my new battleships are coming out. Let's party. Send the ships. We're going to take the North Sea. And we're going to make sure that the British pay for their mistake dearly. Deploy all ships. We're going to have a presence over here. I want to have uh, some ships to the form of a couple of cruisers and destroyers. Just blocking off access to the Baltic. This task force is already patrolling. That's nice what you got there. Oh boy. Oh, wah. That's one task force? Holy shit. Okay, don't move. <laughs> don't move. Don't move. Do I have everybody? Yeah, I think so. All right, um, time to call back the Mediterranean fleet. You guys have been recalled. You are required elsewhere. Urgently. Make a move. You. Kaiser, let's go. Places to be and British to see. What's my research doing? Uh, still working on hull construction, still getting new turret mechanisms. Like what? Triple turret. Who cares about triple turrets on light cruisers? And big guns? Yes. Mark 1, 17 inch gun. Thank you very kindly. I'm supposed to get this in 1924 apparently, but I'm gonna get it early. Okay, Brits. Let's have a party. A couple of meetings are coming up. The Italians, by the way, also have a monster navy. 15 battleships, 6 battle cruisers, 21 heavies, 43 lights, and 19 DDs. I think the game is still sort of lagging behind. Uh, to the tune where... Ah, oh, there we go. Now I'm at war, but I cannot see the British screen. Anyway, relations with the Italian Empire have reached a point where an alliance seems possible. Diplomats ask us to sign a special trade agreement. Which would be non-profitable for our nation, but will strengthen further relations. <laughs> you think? Hell no. No. Ah, there you go. The French Empire, or the, the French Head of Admiralty is replaced. <gasps> Holy moly. <laughs> the British really won a party. Good lord, I don't have the ammunition for that. This is a better lineup. It's two battleships. 15.3 inch guns and 12.1. This is one of their olders. A uh, couple of battle cruisers packing 14 twos. And then a Hawk with 6.8, 7.6, and torpedoes on destroyers. Yeah, let's take them out. We're going to kick this group right in the teeth, and then we're going to move on. Hopefully joining the fleet up with the rest of the formation that's slightly out further afield on the North Sea. We're going to start taking those guys out. Now my battleships and battle cruisers have far more firepower, and I intend to use it. All right, um, they are to the southeast. There. Okay, fine. We're going to start turning this way. I want to have the... Yeah, let's have the battle cruiser join the formation. Normal formation, please. Wait, what? Oh, you're there. Okay. Uh, why are you guys in here? Sometimes the formations just don't make any sense. Why would I have light cruisers and battleships in one formation? I don't get that. Avoid. Standard. Yeah, this is more like it. Okay. Avoid off normal. Go this way. Alright. Let's battle. Who's leading this party? Fettin. Fettin, Mars, Hag, and Kaiser Wilhelm. Good. The British want to come back for round two this quick? On their heads be it. On their heads be it. Oh boy. Here we go again. They have to stick with the formation. God, if the game only had one of those formation systems that allow you to just place down ships on a map, 
and say, yes, I want this ship here, I want this ship here. That would be so much easier. Okay, you're going to fire a high explosive, please. You must be the battleship with the bigger guns. 15.3s. In case you want to know how I know that, if you just click on the ship, you see on the left-hand side here what sort of guns they have. 8 15.3s, 1 8.1, .1, and a couple 2.2s. Not that dangerous, really. Not when compared to my ships, anyway. Um, range 15 clicks. I don't know, we might be able to pen them with AP. I kind of doubt it. But let's try. Vet in that way. All the CLs. CLs are opening up nicely. Perfect. CAs are opening up. This is the Saxony. And we got the Hansa. Perfect. Yeah, see, it's all getting blocked. H E H E H E. Because everything else is just gonna. Whoa! Everything else is just gonna ricochet, but something just got in the way. We hit something. Something, something that wasn't a battleship. Here. You penned it for 300 damage. So you're the battle cruisers then, right? With 14.2s. Okay. Uh, DDs. Make for best speed and start flanking the enemy. CAs, CLs. Maintain a screening force for the battleships. Bloody hell, we're very spread out this time. Not a fan. And I want to keep firing on this lead battleship. Don't start suddenly growing a brain and picking a different target. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. This battleship needs to go. It has fairly big guns. And I want it out. Heavy cruisers taking some fire. Nothing too serious. Damage the main gun. Oh, you're going broadside, are you? By all means. See how that works. Battleships back to AP. Ships flooding. Series damage the main tower. The secondary tower has already been destroyed. Fires are being set. It also sounds like ships are colliding. Medusa. Oh. Medusa is taking a bit of a beating. Let's push her away from this div. Because I would like to take no casualties. CA that way. There's the Vettin. There's the Mars. I swear that Hagen is just not fucking moving. No, she's trying. Kaiser? Well, they're moving, just not very quickly. Okay, you detach, just full ahead flank. Just start getting into this battle, please. Because it's just starting to look silly now. Okay, let's take out this British warship. Show that the British... Well, show the British that the German big gun navy is still present. And dangerous. Damage the main tower. Funnel destroyed. This thing's just getting pummeled. 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 By a lot of 15.9 inch guns. And that's... It's just the start of the trouble, really. I mean, the British... They probably don't know that I'm going to have 16.9 inch guns out here in a month, maybe two months. I'm building a ton of new battleships. They don't know that. But they will. We will show them the error of their ways. Hercules is stuck. Destroyed main tower. Yeah, this ship is probably going to get overwhelmed by fires. There's the George. And then we got a couple of... Oh, hurry, low. Yeah, that was a light cruiser that took a hit. So taking the 600-something or 300-something damage from the heavy cruiser that missed the other target. Saxony's taking a bit too much fire. Here's Vettin. There's Medusa evacking. Uh-oh. Torpedo in the water. Ooh. 
She's still combat capable-ish. Still not gonna chance it. No, let's not steer into the torpedoes. Lest you want to have a problem. Dodge. Come on, sink the Hercules. If only for her name. It's a blow to morale. 13% chance to pen. Auto select your ammo. You probably have a far worse chance to pen. Okay, pick your own ammo. What you got there? CL? Yeah, a light cruiser. Okay, not that much of a threat. Ricochet, overpens. This thing is taking a pounding, much to its credit. 41% crew loss, I think. Uh, are they gonna surrender? They might. Anybody see those torpedoes recently? Yeah, here. Okay, CLs. Cease panic mode. Forty-two and a half percent crew lost. Block, 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 blocked. Great. Structural integrity is dropping. I think they're gonna surrender. Forty-eight. Forty-five. Surrendered. But it's probably not gonna do them any good because their structural integrity is still going to fail. All right, battleships, pay attention. Minotaur is wide open to attack. That's your next target. This light cruiser accidentally kind of got in the way. Temporarily took a lot of attention. Which is not a great idea for the Leander. What you got there? Yeah, fine. Take some shots at the blonde with your secondaries, Hagen. Bloody hell, I really want my ships to be faster than this. Because this ship... It's still in formation with Mars and Hagen. Or trying to be. No, thank you. Not interested. Boom. Flooding. Perfect. It's a great hit on the bow. Causing a good bit of flooding. Oh, Saxony, this is bad. You're dead. <gasps> oh, that was two duds. The British must be fucking annoyed about that. Saxony doing everything she can to engage her attacker. It's just that her buoyancy is done for. She has no buoyancy. Zero. Oh well. I don't mind trading a heavy cruiser for a battleship. I'll make that trade any day. Smoke. The nymph needs to disengage. Leave. Uh, here, retreat. George, what you doing here? Why are you like this? Minotaur's almost done. There goes Leander. DDs. Continue to harass the enemy. 2.8k? Whoa! That adds up. Did you hit somebody with a torpedo? Yes, you did. That's the real damage. 22.92. Interesting. Who did you hit? A, a light cruiser. <laughs> yeah, they're going to take a ton of damage. Of course they are. Alright, we're going to finish off the Minotaur. And we're going to take the CLs out of here. There's Hansa. There's Vettin. Kaiser. Can I interest you in joining this fight, please? Because you're operating from what? 20? 15 clicks out. Ah, accuracy is still pretty decent. And it's one of the ABC ships. Three turrets. Here's the other battleship. This is the George. This guy is dead. Structural integrity is done for. Yep. Done. New target. The George. The George is pushing solo. Which is an extremely bad idea. She is taking hits from all over and cannot angle any way. She's going to be dead, no matter which way she turns. She found herself entirely in the middle of a battle group. 
Finish this ship off. Battleship status. Pristine. Just pristine. The blonde's a bit annoying, but, you know, that's how blondes can be. Ah, there goes the nymph. Anyway, I've sacrificed a heavy cruiser and sunk a battleship. I've sacrificed a light cruiser and sunk a, a battle cruiser. So far, not too sad about the current state of affairs. This, however, is not necessarily great. Because we're taking a lot of attention on the DDs. And so far, they're not accurate. The moment they get accurate, this DD dies. Most like. There's the George. Okay. Oh, you're still one of the older. Yeah. It's my least favorite battleship class, the four single 15.9ers. They're not bad ships. But they're the worst of the bunch. They're the worst of the ships I have out there right now. There's Hagen. You're firing AP, aren't you? That doesn't work. Against the blonde. That does not work against the blonde. There you go. 1500 damage. The entire ship's on fire and almost has reached the point where her crew surrenders. Perfect. Let's put some attention on Vettin, because she just got penned pretty bad. Yeah. Was that you? No. Who did that? 14.2 inch hit. Battleship. Who? You don't have those guns. Dead. Are we sure it was a BB? No, it was a BC. There you go. Alright, let's disengage this. Much as I don't like them, they don't need to die. Sinking or losing one of these ships is a pretty bad idea. This guy has already expended all of his torpedo tubes, and no, I refuse to name that ship on channel. I'm rather attached to having a channel. Problematic. Turn. Disengage. Thank you. Hagen. Yeah, Hagen's one of the ABCs. Turret wise. Crap. Now I need my escorts. Lights. Where are you at? Here. DDs. Oh, we sunk something small. <laughs> They're still picking apart the Prince Consort. <laughs> Carry on, people. Carry on. I just need you over here, right now. We still got the Hansa out there somewhere. Uh oh. It's a lot of torps. Yeah, you're gonna be dead. You cannot survive such hits. You don't have the bulkheads for it. But Owena already went through all of her torpedoes. She's not that much of a threat. Boom. <laughs> what was that? That was an 8.9 inch shell. Boom. Dead. Nice destroyer. Shame if something happened to it. Alright. Hawk. Heavy cruiser. I think the British are starting to run out of ships. What this battle does highlight for me is my need to bring more ships. Escorting ships. Because those destroyers got awful close. Way closer than I would have liked. Switch fire. Secondaries on that. Way closer than I would have liked. Had they had bigger torpedoes, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Thankfully, they didn't. It just could have been a lot worse. Yeah, this guy's going to be dead. And my escorting ships, my light cruisers and heavy cruisers, were kind of getting beaten submission slash killed. I still have some light cruisers around and I pulled them back. But in doing so, they just lost a lot of their effectiveness. I mean, they've done okay for damage. 600, 300, 700. If you compare that to the DDs, it's nothing the DDs can't do. It's just that the DDs do it better. 
That's my concern. The DDs just do it better. Please pen this bottle cruiser. Thank you. Flooding. You pen me? Not very well. Hawk has no torpedoes. Mains on the Prince Consort. How's the Vettin? Disengaging? Yeah, she's even perfectly combat capable, actually. Mars turn. There's the Hansa. Hansa, I'm gonna make it life my life a little bit easier. Follow the Mars. You standard full speed. Oh, the zealous. Ooh, Prince Consort's taking a beating now. You must have taken a couple of really good hits. Yeah, 15.9 right through the main belt, causing massive damage to their citadel. DDs. Smoky, smoky. It's the last of their ships, right? Battle cruisers. Would be nice if they blew up. I mean have a tendency to do so. What are you focusing? DDs? And you're focusing a battleship. The Kaiser. Alright. There. There goes the Prince Consort. And here's the Zealous. She's been surrounded. Her retreat is getting cut off by a wave of destroyers right off her bow. She has nowhere to go. This is another British slaughter. They just don't stand a chance against the German Navy. I mean, look at that. I have them in circle. They got battle cruisers there. I got light cruisers there. A battleship pushing in. A destroyer line just punishing these guys. I wonder how much damage they've done with fire. 13 fires were set. 3k there. Of course, discount the torpedoes. 1k, 1.7. That's without a torpedo. 1.5, 1.6. Yeah, I think I'm going to decommission my light cruisers. I don't think they did that much. It's not the first time either. 500. 600. 700. It's not good enough. Let me smoke to the west. Really? Did we miss one? Oh! Hello. What's this then? You must be a destroyer of some variety. Destroyer... No, I think a light cruiser. Get over here, get over here, get over here. No, you don't. Not you. Lights over here, battle cruiser over here. Let's take this last guy out. Or should I let him live? Nah. Take him out. No survivors. Ah, it was the blonde. The blonde was trying to escape. <laughs> No, you're not. Not anymore. Because you got detected by DDs. And that... was a critical hit. 15.9 inch gun. 7800 damage. Dead. 11,000 victory points. Not bad for a first battle. They did take 2,500 home. I lost two ships. They lost 11. Not a bad result. What I'm interested in is how much... The light cruisers truly did. Damage received, 2,800. Damage dealt, 45. 742, 94. Hmm. 830, 22. Yeah, for what these guys do... I mean, they cost me 17 million. The destroyer costs me 9 and does essentially twice the work. Hagen. 19,000 damage. 36,000 damage for the Mars. And Vettin, being one of the older classes, 6.7. Not great for a battleship. It's not terrible, but the other battleships definitely, with more guns, able to do more damage. Now, seeing as I have new ships coming out, I think I can retire some older ones. Such as the entire light cruiser division. Uh-oh. How are the French? Oh, boy. <laughs> 5.3 billion. Poor Frenchies. Poor Frenchies. They're still shrinking. Every time they lose transports, they take a massive hit to their economy. 
And I'm on 71 billion. The British, 157. My economy is still growing. Theirs is still growing as well, just not as quickly. I'm scared of the naval budget, though. That's a billion a month. Minus 475, minus half. But, if I'm not mistaken, the new fleet is here. Yes, they're here. Baden, Bismarck, Weissenburg, Zaringen, Nassau, Hildebrandt, Schleswig Holstein, König Albert, and Kronprinz. All armed with 16.9 inch guns. All eager for battle and out for blood. But first, Bremse, Medusa, and Falke. Scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Nuremberg, scrap. Nymph. Just sort by CLs, shall we? That is. What, you're in conflict or something? Mm, I cannot select these, so they're probably in battle somewhere. Anyway, um, let's get these big ships out here. Because the British have that massive task force, and I really don't like that. 10 capital ships, 28 heavies, 30 lights, and 20 DDs. It looks like the next episode is shaping up to be a massive conflict. Massive. So join me next time, as we might sort of instantly eliminate most of the British fleet. Because this is 50, 78, 88 ships. I think this is the biggest battle I have ever seen. If they all engage at once, that is. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon for the next one.